Well, you don't see these every day. This is a 1957 horny phone television. It uh, was manufactured by Philips for the Austrian market. And it was uh, shipped over from Austria by a customer of mine. And this television set was the one that he watched uh, in his family's home when he was a kid in Austria. And uh, long story short, uh, he just recently had to clean up uh, the family's estate and uh, he lives here in Sacramento. This is one of the pieces he had shipped back over. And what he'd like to have done with it is he wants it completely gone through. All the tubes checked naturally. He wants every capacitor replaced, every resistor replaced, uh, and every diode replaced. So we're going to be doing that here over the process of uh, what will probably be a few months. And I haven't done much with this so far. I haven't even powered it up. It's supposed to work, but I never take anything for granted when it comes to these things. But this thing is really clean. It's got that trademark German mirror lac finish. It's in really superb condition. You can see the reflection of the wall in it. And the channel lineup. Notice you have channel 2 and 2A through channel 11, uh, which are on a European uh, spacing. And see if we can get close up to this. It looks like it's not going to focus, but that little emblem there is the horny phone emblem. Let's flip this thing around. You can see the back. I mean, look at this cabinet. This cabinet is absolutely stunning. Bear with me. I'm trying not to make too many breaks in the video. You can watch my manhandling of this TV set. Here's a close-up of the back cover. You can see the tag on the back, horny, and 220 volts, 50 hertz, 195 volt amps, uh, serial number 55646, type, I guess that would be sort of a model number, WT2130A-00. Have a speaker, external speaker, looks like, and a phonograph input. Vertical height, linearity. There's our antenna plug, it looks like. I have no idea. 220 volts. So we're going to attempt a soft power up of this, and I've got a standard variac on the bench and uh, let's see what we can do to get power here okay I have this 220 volt transformer a step up transformer and I got this for free at a swap meet so I have no idea if it works and this will be the first test of it obviously it's not isolated so I'm hoping if it's just a basic linear supply, nothing more than a transformer with selectable taps, that I can vary the output with the variac and do the soft power up. So let's see what we've got with this thing. Okay. Power. Uh, yeah, we've got taps here. Different outputs. And. Okay, this is. 
so 110. And we're right at 220 there. So if I vary the variac, yeah, this will do the job. Let's start it out at about 160 volts. And I want to pop the back cover off of this first and before we power it, just see what's going on inside. Well, here's what we have inside. It's a pretty basic affair. A high voltage cage and everything looks a lot like it would on an American uh, <clears throat> on an American set. Except for that, that's nice. Accessible fuses. There's our controls. A whole lineup of European tubes. Big old speaker in there. So, I think the power switch on this is already on, so I'm just gonna. this thing power up for a while and let it sit at 160 and I'll bring the voltage up over a slow period of time because uh, with these old electronics it's usually best to not surge them with a huge amount of current right away if they've been sitting around a long time you can damage stuff and capacitors can short out it can be a big mess so uh, we'll come back to this